Hello, Christy Argovich from Tampa, Florida, here to talk about a co-borrower and what your responsibilities are and what your options are for a student loan. Um, a lot of clients come to us and they are either the co-borrower or they're the original borrower, but they have this federal, usually this private student loan, I'm sorry, this is usually for private student loans. And um, so what do you do? What do you do with that? First of all, um, a co-borrower is equally responsible, 100% jointly and severally liable with the borrower. Doesn't really matter which one of them borrowed the money, each of them is responsible. Now this is according to the creditor on the other side. And that is also what the law holds. Um, so be very careful when you're ever being asked to co-sign something, because if that original borrower doesn't pay, you're on the hook. Um, I myself would much rather loan someone money rather than be on the hook with them financially in a manner that would hurt both their credit and my credit if something went awry. So be cautious about that. But let's say you've already done it. Let's say you've already um, signed on the dotted line and you are a co-signer for what is now going to be a delinquent or defaulted um, private student loan. So what can you do? Um, well, uh, one thing is, is you can arrange to pay off the loan and you can have maybe an unsecured loan with whoever it is that you agreed to be a co-signer for. Um, you are at risk of whether they ever want to repay you back, um, but you can have them sign a promissory note and so forth. So where they owe you, but they can then discharge that potentially in a bankruptcy. There are some complicated questions um, when it is a student loan, whether or not it receives protection in bankruptcy, but there's a bit of risk with that if you pay it off on their behalf, uh, but that is an option. Another option is sometimes you can buy out your liability. So you can reach out to the servicer, Navient, Sally Mae, whoever it is, you can reach out to them and you can say, hey, I'm on the hook for this loan. Say it's 50,000, 100,000, whatever it is. And you wanna buy out your responsibility. Now you can do that. Um, unfortunately, it usually takes a bit, bit of cash though. Um, normally we don't see buyouts like that of less than say 20 or 25 cents on the dollar. And then the borrower themselves also still owe the remainder of the loan. So you haven't really fixed it for them, but you may have fixed it for yourself. So keep in mind that is one option. You can buy out the liability. Um, another option is many of the servicers will say, well, we have a 24 month plan. If the borrower has uh, good credit and they make timely payments for 24 months, we will uh, remove the co-borrower. The problem is, is that we hardly ever see that actually happening in practice. Yes, they'll say it and it'll be you know, documented and so forth. But as a reality, we'll see them often turn down the borrower for the credit. They'll basically say, well, you haven't been at your job long enough. You're not making, you know, you're not whatever. And so therefore the co-borrower remains on the hook despite the fact that 24 timely um, payments had been made. So that doesn't really work. It's an option that you can try. It doesn't hurt anyone's credit. Um, as a practical matter though, we haven't really seen that happen very often. Um, another option, which we do like, is an interest rate reduction program. Many of the servicers will say, well, we'll go ahead and reduce your interest, but they won't do so unless you ask them. So you have to ask them, do you have an interest rate reduction program? How long does it last? What does the rate go to? You may see that the rate will go to zero or 1% for a short time, might be a quarter, might be a half year, maybe even a full year or more. Um, and during that time, you can encourage the borrower to pay down as much as they can on the loan so that when it comes due again, it won't be that much and maybe the interest would be a lot less at that point in time. So interest rate reduction, that's a viable out, um, doesn't hurt anyone's credit, usually works better for low balances though. Um, it doesn't fix the problem. So if you have someone who has a huge balance, doesn't make that loan go away. It just simply you know, shuts, the spic shuts the interest, shuts the spigot down for a little while. Um, you can encourage the borrower to refinance, maybe away from the co-borrower. If they have good credit and they've been at their job, lo job long enough, they're making enough money, they may qualify for a new loan that repays the older co-sign loan. That's a pretty good option. Um, SoFi, Earnest, there's a number of different lenders out there, key bank, citizens, you name it. Uh, there's a few sites that we like. We like in, uh, lendedu.com, uh, studentloanplanner.com is a good site. They list um, most of the student loan private uh, servicers out there. Uh, I understand that they'll do soft pulls of someone's credit. They'll actually see what they might be eligible for. Uh, but you, if you've co-signed the loan, you could encourage the borrower to reach out and see, can they get a private loan? Are they in a you know solid enough financial position that they can then get a loan on their own? Um, and I think that a co-borrower should try to do that uh, just to get off the, the loan entirely. Let's say none of that works. What, what other options do you have? Um, settlement, plain and simple. Um, we often will do settlements for private student loans. 
Um, the interest rates on those are very, very high. They usually are five to maybe even 18 or more percent. When we do a settlement, there is no further interest. Um, yes, we do have a total balance that we're trying to resolve and it includes principal and accrued interest. But going forward, we usually will resolve that for a smaller percentage, you know, oftentimes somewhere between 20 and 50 cents on the dollar, and it will have no interest going forward. And that's huge because that causes that loan to end. You know, in two to five years, that loan is gone. It's also tax free. Right now is an excellent time to settle a private student loan because the uh, Americans Rescue Package that was passed, I think, in February or March of this past year, part of the government stimulus allows for any forgiveness of student loan debt, whether it be private or federal, to be tax-free. And so that means that if you can get that settlement done before December uh, 31 of 2025, you won't get an IRS tax bill for the forgiveness. So settlement is often an approach that is very useful when we have higher balances, and now we don't have to worry about the taxable event. It used to be that that was a significant problem and we attempted to address that in our settlement proceedings. Now we don't have to. So I hope that all these options of what to do when you have co-signed a um, private student loan uh, has been helpful to you. Please subscribe, hit the like button down below and stay tuned if you have any other uh, student loan questions, any other um, things that you hear about in the news that's being offered by the Biden administration or the Department of Ed. We probably have done a video on it or we will have one coming out shortly. So stay tuned and thank you so much.